Hello everyone, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to a brand new campaign on my channel. Now, if you want to skip my intro, there will be a timestamp on the side of the screen right there. Go to that timestamp and it will take you to the beginning of the campaign. For those of you that want to stick around, this campaign will be the Carcassonne campaign. I hope I said that right. They are the Royal Frenchies, of course, and um, I'm looking forward to this. I want to say a special thank you to uh, Barack um, in my comment section for suggesting this campaign. I hope you enjoy this campaign as well, Barack. Also, I want to say a special thank you to all my awesome patrons as well. Uh, all of them are in the description below. If you want to check out my Patreon and all my social links, all of them are also in the description below as well. And yeah, this campaign, I will be using a few mods. I'm probably going to be using most of the graphical mods that I used in my Von Karstein campaign. But I will also be using the Unlimited Green Knight campaign. This campaign is going to be for funsies. So I know you might be thinking it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a cheat, you know, because the the Green Knight I think he has a twelve turn time limit, and then you can't use him until you get your your sort of um, your your rating, your chivalry back up to the highest grading again. But I want to use him and you know use him permanently. I think with the mod that I'm using, once he's dead, you have to get your chivalry back up again. But I'd like to not have a time limit on him. Just use him as a complete wrecking ball in the campaign. If you enjoy the campaign, guys, then by all means drop a like on the videos. It means a lot to me. I will try and get some kind of upload schedule um, on the channel at some stage once I settle down and get a few videos out. It'll probably be Von Karsteins and this campaign running alternatively on each day. Okay, guys, let's crack on with it. Does war visit fair Britonia this day? It is no longer enough for the dukes to sit idle. It is time for the flower of Britonia to unfurl and reveal its thorns. Caught with a wealth of knowledge that will aid this errantry war. Like the Grail companions of old, the dukedoms of Britonia will unite under the banner of their king. Blessings on you and your lands, wise and fey enchantress. Your kingdom is in peril and has need of your strength. Dark clouds are brewing abroad. The elves of Atheloran grow bold of late. Their expansionist desires see them encroaching beyond the limits of the forest. Hold your own against their ilk. The nearby mountains are infested with greenskins. As ever they battle the stubborn dwarfs, be vigilant, lest their filthy scourge infects Bretonian lands. Along the coast, the mercenaries of Tilia sell their swords to the highest bidder. You can be sure they value coin over loyalty. Be wary of them. The savage beast lord Kazrak dwells nearby. He is set upon a path of war that will invariably bring him into contact with you. You must defeat this ruinous threat. Ever blessed by the Lady of the Lake, Britonian lands serve the goddess completely. Show no fear. March forth, and in her name, restore the virtue of your realm. My lord, the Dukes of Britonia have resided under a chivalrous code for many years. Honor this tradition. Build upon the great foundations of Gilles le Breton and lead the knightly orders forward to glory. 
Okay, so here we go guys. The campaign starts for Carcassonne. Chapter objective issued. The land of chivalry. I gotta retain 400 chivalry for knightly and I get 5,000 for that. How they play. So honor and chivalry are the driving forces for all Bretonians. Call an errantry war in their defense. Chivalry is increased through noble actions and heroic victories and lost through dishonorable deeds. Your current chivalry level can be seen on the campaign interface at the top of the screen. Which you can see by here. Plus 10. There is no greater benefit of chivalry than the assistance of the Green Knight. This legendary hero can be called upon in times of need to destroy those that oppose you. Peasants form the backbone of your army and economy, so be wary of using up the surplus by enlisting too many. Conquering new regions increases your surplus, enabling you to field more peasants in your armies without suffering a penalty to your farming economy buildings. Your current peasantry economy surplus can be seen on the campaign interface. There we go, seems pretty straightforward. We start off with 5,000, we're gaining 800 or so. Plus 10. Right, we've got an agent here. Priestess of the lady. Marie Beaumont. She's a damsel. We start off at war, don't we? So let's get you My path is clear. over here to see what's going on. The lady shines bright overall. Orion is there with a army of seven units. They are going to be strong. Okay, we can build stuff straight away. What we got here? We can get men at arms, spirit arms, level up and get shields. Both of them. Get walls. How look? We look game of faction. We have Brion as well. As fields has a fishery. I think we'll start things off our technology in that case. Now this is what we want to get: the heraldry, because this will allow us to have a uh, confederation with Leonis, a stone, or the low on their Bretonia. We're gonna get this first, gives us plus five chivalry as well. Make a start with that. Obviously I'm wary of uh, fighting the Wood Elves here, but for now let's just get our economy up. We know that Kazrak was down here somewhere, so we may have a battle with him soon as well. Let us focus on some diplomacy. Okay, Bordolo. Welcome to Fair Bretonia. On aggression. Just that non-aggression will do. Damn it! I, I would mind paying them for it as well. Paravol. Welcome to Fair Bretonia. Now. Okay. On aggression with them. Pack no one dwarves. Make to fight the dwarves. So we're going to try and expand through confederation anyway. Okay, Widrioth. See, we're not at war with them, so maybe. Uh, we will see our homeland persist. Non-aggression with them. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, Stalia. Do not greet me as a friend. Can't do anything with them. Greetings. We may not be. Can't do anything with them. Togavan. What would your watery harlot have? Nope. We are rank twelve to begin with. This is Athel Lauren. Aggression. All right, so can't get too much at the moment. That's fine. I'm wary of Orion, of course. I protect Bretonia. Fate Enchantress. Could be aggressive, I suppose. What would we be like in a fight, though? How strong is Castle? Carcassonne. Relatively. It's got a wall as well. I mean, I'm half tempted to get a wall. Income is going to be important. Control, growth. Gives me 100. 50. Go even house. Get that so we can get shields for our unit. I'm gonna be very aggressive early on. How dare you! I think this army could beat Orion's army. And we'll recruit, we've got money to spend. What we do though. Uh, yeah, can't anything with Brion. Just see. Welcome to Fair Bretonia. Would they accept it if I gave them 300? Alright, we'll forget them for now then. I am the Fae. You can recruit for me. I like to have bows. Cost a lot. I think it's peasant bowmen. That's what you got to be wary of. 
So 11 out of 15, so I can get two of these. And this is where we get really, really awkward. Both got poor leadership. They've all got poor leadership, I have to be very careful here. I think bows are the way to go. Get three bows and we'll get... Um, get another spear unit. Okay, that's our turn, I think. Oh, commandment. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Forgot to do this. Uh, 25 turns. Your control is going down. Get growth. Tax. Get control. Control. I kind of want to get money. Construction costs. We are building. Get that. That's our first turn of the campaign. Bear in mind, I haven't got much experience playing with um, Bretonia. Ooh. Do I wish to intercept the Ryan? I do. Because he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. He has got a Hawk Riders. He's level one, though. We haven't got extra. Okay, we're going to fight. First battle. Let's test the waters against these Wood Elves. Battle of King's Glade. This is going to be an interesting one. We do outnumber them. They don't actually have that much in the way of arrow spam. We're going to have to rush them, we are. Get them into... Uh, Hand to hand. I wish I had my agent in this battle as well. Uh, I feel like we could have used her. And we'll, we'll, we'll deploy. Okay, what have we got? Awaken of the wood. Magical damage. We like that. Front and centre with you. Battle of Pilgrims. Pretty good. They can be in the front line. Like so. Ready for I think we put men at arms. Either side. Like that, okay. Orders. Spearman. Spearman. Going to be stretched. Not much room to manoeuvre here. Okay, that's fine. Peasant bowman. Peasant bowman. Can form the front line. Put him on skirmish. What have I got left? I've actually got Grail Guardians here, which are my cavalry. Got a nice bit of a hill to work with here, so we'll keep them on the left flank. Yes. Sure, range like on this uh, probably wants you right up here, don't we? A bit more room. I'm gonna go with that. I will probably be get rid of that. I will probably be um, moving this slowly on the map. You have to move forward. Can this move forward? Yes, it can. Okay, it's going to get you up to there as well. Matter of fact, it's going to issue you to attack the Hawk Riders for me. Let's put this in slow motion for a moment, just so we can actually take in the awesomeness of these units. So there she is. It's the Fae Enchantress. I can't say it. The Fae Enchantress. My oh my. Got some peasant bowmen then. Marching below us. Let's get that off. We can actually watch them. Peasant bowmen. That looks like a really cool machinima. Somebody screen cap that bullshit. That's an awesome machinima right there. These units, what are they? Doesn't matter, they're just gonna charge into battle. Charge! Actually, I want to see my Grail Knights. Oh, oh, there they are. Over here. Lovely Grail Knights. Charge! Do it! Fuck a casson! Fuck a casson! Right, let's get back to normal speed. Don't want to overextend too much. They're gonna have a lot of stuff hidden here, and they're gonna have a lot of. We have to rush them basically because obviously they're gonna lock that group formation. Actually, they'll be in a position where they can hurt us quite a lot. We have to aim for Orion. Okay, their calves there. Can my calf take their calf out? 60-60. I do have. You know what? My spear. Uh... Both my spears I'm going to go on the right flank instead. Are right, you going to start firing for me? Lovely. Take some shardies for me. Um, go for them. Okay, Fey Enchantress. I'm going to go more to this side. Magical damage for me, please. Lovely. 
Beautiful. Right between the two units. Beautiful. Right, we have to start concentrating. Slow this shit down a bit. Okay, my spears. They have wild riders for there. Wish you would take out. Fey Enchantress. Probably use that too soon. Don't use that just yet, right. I want you to run across. You're gonna go right through the Hawk Riders there. You're gonna keep hitting those Hawk Riders for me. Right, that's how we do it. I'm doing this on, on purpose right now because it's gonna be a quite a difficult battle. Hey, Enchantress. I feel like the rest of my line have just stopped right now. Battle Pilgrim is over there. Peasant Bowman. Just keep shooting them. Actually, Peasant Bowman, shoot the Hawk Eagle. But you're gonna get in there, good. that. Get in there. Battle Pilgrims. Get in there. All of you just get in there. You're back here. I will go back to normal speed in a second. How are we doing over here? This still taking forever. This sword infantry unit. Where's it gone? Broken. I can't do anything with him. Shit. Right idea moving them over there. Problem is the lead ships can be quite poor. How are we doing? Fair enchantress. They want to use that there. Get that there. How are we doing? Common even. Real guns versus Deepwood Scouts. Go way watchers, but they have to watch them. Okay, you're doing nothing. Go over there. Help out. Extra men in there, please. I need you to keep firing on those Hawk Riders. You two, you keep shooting over there. Right, you're going over there, good. You two are just going to charge. Get those Wild Riders up against that there. Okay, the rest is fine, I guess, at the moment. I will go back normal to once I get control of this battle. How are we doing? Losing, apparently. Come at even. Losing decisively. How's she doing? She's winning decisively, so that's good. Orion's going to be... Yeah, he's going to be the one which is going to take out the most of them. I feel like if I can take out most of their army, though, I think we've got a good chance. What's that? They've got... Oh, they've got a hybrid weapon specialist for there as well. Okay, I need you to recharge in that case. Right, you're going to change course. You've pretty much done... Yeah, you've got them routed. in. There's only 22 of them left. You're going to charge and go to the Way Watchers instead. How are we doing over here? You're just taking forever, come on. Bash up against the tree and kill them. That's all you gotta do. Why are you changing? Okay, why did you change the goal over there? Keep shooting that for me. Keep shooting that for me. Right, you get in there. Shoot that for me. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. I have another, another explosion by here now. Let's go, another one. Right over there. A large magical explosion. Okay, we need to get her onto Ryan. All of you get surrounded. It'll be a massive, massive win for us if we are able to get this victory. That's why I'm taking forever, you know, doing this in slow motion. Oh, shit, those hawks come back. Just keep shooting the hawks, all we can do. We've got no other, uh, nothing else that can really do anything against them. We should look at these two spears as well. Okay, I feel balance power slightly in my favour now. 61 seconds, shit, okay. I feel like you can get over there. Peasantry, just keep those that Doden busy. Well, you lot keep attacking Orion. Actually, look at some of this combat as well. Got Orion by you. Orion! Where's she gone? I can't see her. She's there. 
the Enchantress and Orion just there fighting. Oh, he looks evil. I love Orion. His, uh, I like what they've done with this character in this game. It's pretty damn good. It'd be good, it'd be good, it'd be good. Are we still not routed? Oh my god. Those Wave Watchers taking forever to go. Oh, those ones coming back. No, they're not. They're routed. Come on, kill them quicker. Kill them quicker. All of Bretonia. I'm going to do this there or. Oh, we can Ryan, I think. He goes, they all go. Just unload absolutely everything. Keep shooting. Still taking forever against these. Literally got them barged up against the trees. Edge of the map. Edge of the map stuff going on. But here, right, you need to keep attacking that. You can't attack that. You can definitely go back and attack them. There's only 19 of them. They'll keep picking you off otherwise. And you're also pulling away from the Hawk Riders at the same time. Right, Orion's moving. We've got to keep this unit busy over here. Dodo and, and Orion get separated. Those Hawk Riders are very low now. They're 16. Let's go back to normal speed now then. So we're going to chase off this unit by here while Hawk Riders chase there. The They'll keep attacking there. Fey of Fury. Is that what it's called? Not Fey of the Fey. They're gone. They're out in. Okay, cool. We've won this. We've won this. We have done it! All of you, attack Orion. You two turn back. We fight for Britonia. We fight for Britonia. Fighters! Orion's got really good like stuff, so he might. Uh, Honor the lady. Armed and ready. He might um, do some damage here. That's why I'm getting everyone to turn around. Chase him off as much as we can. I made we lose. Not too bad for 400. They, they only had about 400 against us, but of course they had some good units. Like Orion's pretty good. But as you can see, he's, he's on his own against all of this by here. Come on, break. Health is just so good. Get my infantry in there. I'm too scared to get my artillery in there because. Uh, I should read my archers because they. You know. Friendly fire. I don't see the point in friendly firing. We've got 973. I want to keep that 973. Whoa! Don't you use fire either. Okay, you can just turn around. You can turn. Oh, I left you up here. And arms. That's for this. We've won this anyway. Close victory. I'll definitely take that because. I was a bit worried fighting uh, these. He had 64 kills on his own. She had 57 on her own mind. 108 for the cavalry. I love cavalry. I think I'm going to like Bretonia because they are a cavalry faction. I always just like playing Takeda in Shogun 2. I always love playing with cavalry, so I'm going to enjoy this. Treasury, Illusion. Let's get the leadership. Go to King's Glade and besiege it, maybe. Banner of Eternal Flame, that's going to be good. Does some fire damage, want that. Oh, damn incursions from the green skins. Right, what am I going to do, guys? going to end this episode prematurely right now because I want to keep you guys on edge of your seats, of course. I'll be back in the next episode where I think I'll try and attack King's Glade and hopefully... Enchantress. I've got more troops now as well. Attack King's Glade, hopefully take it and bring the war to the Wood Elves Gardens. I've been Dragonheart Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.